FLIR, the acronym stands for Forward Looking Infrared, and it's a uh, technology that picks up on light radiated by, it's generated by heat or hot objects. So with the FLIR technology now, the rangers at the Mara Conservancy can scan in a large area with a circle with a radius of a mile and kind of plan ahead when they, they can detect poachers, they can strategically place rangers uh, to kind of surround the poachers, which uh, ends up making them more efficient, uh, more likely to make an arrest, and then also makes their job safer because now they no longer are surprised by poachers, now they can surprise the poachers. The beginning of August this year, I went uh, out with the, uh, the rangers on an ambush mission. And uh, I mean, this is all at, at night where it's pitch black. You can barely see your hand in front of your face. All you see is the flashlights, everybody running through the woods, chasing your hyenas in the background, which is a little scary. The, the ranger that was using the camera was physically telling the, uh, the rangers driving these vehicles where, I mean, how to drive. He was their eyes. So he was, I mean, as they were kind of driving to their new position, he was telling them left, left, right, right, and you would just see them kind of steer and I mean, just listen to him completely and <laughs> trust him, obviously. Um, but they were able to, um, through the night vision camera, re reposition themselves and ambush these, uh, these eight poachers. And the poachers even said they were flabbergasted how they could uh, drive at night. They didn't understand how they were getting there. Then now that the word is getting out that this technology is out there, um, the poachers are less likely to come into the parks. Um, so it's now a deterrent, which is good for everyone because uh, the rangers don't have to put themselves in danger and then the, the poachers also aren't trying to come in and harm the wildlife.